Welcome back to Living 808. Many homeless keiki in Hawaii will start the school year off on the right track thanks to the Locations Foundation and their Backpack to School event. James Chan, realtor and partner with Locations, joins us with more on that. Hello, thank you so much Hi, for joining us. Hi, good morning. Us. Thanks for having me. Okay, so tell us about uh, this event. Yeah, so um, the Locations Foundation has an annual Backpack to Back Back to School um, drive for the community. Um, this is the 17th year that we've been doing it, so it's it's one of the longest ones that I know of on Oahu. And uh, we're we're calling out to the community to drop off school supplies. We provide the backpacks as well as additional supplies uh, for two weeks. People can drop off supplies. We stuff them and then we give them out to about 500 kids, various organizations across the state. Wow. Okay, this is huge, and this is so important because you know I'm a parent and I know how expensive school supplies yeah. are. It adds up. Um, and nowadays with technology, you know, a lot of them need those fancy calculators. I mean, there's there's a lot of things that you may not realize that kids need in school. Um, you brought a backpack here. <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah. Um, what do you have in there? Okay. Yeah. So here's some of the supplies that. Uh, that we're calling for. Um, so I'll just I'll list some. So three ring three ring binders okay, right here. Binders. Um, they're kind of specific because the public school system has a, a very specific list. Okay. So we have wide wide ruled paper. Okay. Um, composition books. Yes. Do we all remember these from when we were I kids? Know, right. <laughs> and then we have uh, oh, a no. bunch of small things like glue sticks. Okay. Uh, white erasers. Twenty four pack crayons. Um, I have more glue sticks here. Uh, black pens. Okay. Um, in addition, we have uh, some colored pencils and red pens. And there are some other things that um, can go along with it. We do have lists online on our website if people want to see what they can buy. Okay, yeah. that's huge. That's very, um, very important to show everybody because sometimes people just donate pencils pencils yeah. paper but there's so many other things obviously so many that other kids things. use yeah um, and then you guys provide the backpacks yep so we order the backpacks we have 500 this year okay. um, and we'll stuff them all and then we distribute all of it yeah and yeah. this is the 17th annual that's that's pretty incredible why is this so important for for locations to get involved uh, you know so our nonprofit locations foundation um, we focus on women and families um, and we really you know as as um, realtors, we really feel like not only do we help the community with real estate, but in supporting from the ground from the ground up families too. Um, and we see so many kids out there in every everything that we do all day. Um, so you know, it, it, we just have to give back in everything that we do. And this is just one of the events that we do every year. Um, mm -hmm. We donate a lot of volunteer hours, and then over three hundred thousand dollars last year to the community last year. Yeah, that is terrific. We're looking at some video here. Uh, what, are, what are we looking at? I see bowling. I see a lot of, uh, yeah. are these all employees? These are employees and family members of um, employees. So we do um, restoration to different community centers and schools. Um, we volunteer with uh, Boys and Girls Club, Big Brothers, Big Sisters. Um, I think that's a surfing event um, for kids. Um, kids hurt too. Um, you know what I like about this is you guys are known as being the neighborhood experts, right? Yeah. Um, but this goes to show you, I mean, you're, you're, you're not just talking, you're, you're doing it. You know, you are in the neighborhoods that you guys work in. Um, you're giving back. Exactly. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of locations. I think a lot of people are. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, one of our values is uh, we're stakeholders in the community, and that doesn't uh, include just you know business, but also getting in, rubbing shoulders with people, and and really trying to be a part of the community. Yeah, no, yeah. I love that. Um, so remind everybody how they can uh, help and be a part of this drive. Yes, yeah, so um, you can donate school supplies. Um, you can take them to any one of our office locations. Um, the first and two weeks And you have so July. many all over. We do, yeah. They range from town all the way to Kapolei and Windward Side. We even have a couple of kiosks in Windward Mall and Kapolei. Okay. Um, they can donate to any uh, locations open house. So if you if you look in the Sunday paper and you see an, a locations open house, go there, drop it off, um, or any of our offices. Great, because that open house could be on your street. It could be, yeah. There's <laughs> got to be at least one in within your block. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's terrific. Uh, we really encourage everybody to, to go and donate and make a difference because, um, you know, sadly, I, I, I've done news stories on this, and when you you know, first day of school, a lot of kids who don't have, they feel really insecure, they're embarrassed. Yes, yeah. Um, you know, and it stays with them. No one wants children to feel that way. So yeah. what you guys are doing really
really great and help them kind of, you know, walk in with their head high on their first day of exactly. school. Exactly. Such yeah. a small thing, but it goes so far. Yeah, yeah. James, thank you so much. A big Thanks, mahalo Trini. to locations thank for you. everything they're doing. Coming up on Living 808, from Radio Disney Award winner to Billboard and BMI icon,